So welcome to the session. Now we are going to see about recursive language. Uh, so language is recursive language. If there exists a Turing machine M uh, for a particular input W such that the Turing machine accepts the strings that are in the language L and rejects the uh, string that are not in the language L. Okay, when it is accept that are uh, the particular string present in the language and it rejects that are not in the language. Okay, so if the string W is in L, then machine M accept it and therefore the Turing machine will halts. Right, so the particular uh, if the particular W is not in the language L, if W is not in the language L then also machine pass without entering the accept state so any problem or language L is decidable if it is a recursive language so uh, this is known as recursive language whatever the in whenever you are giving an input W to a particular machine M which is a Turing machine uh, if the particular string is available in the language L it should accept and halts and providing a result as yes and it should reject reject the particular uh, language and that uh, that time also it halts and uh, without entering the accepting state so any problem or language L is decidable if it is a recursive language so so this is uh, known as we will we, we, uh, call it as decidable language okay so whenever you have this recursive language it is a decidable one so and any language is undesirable if it is not a recursive language so this is a recursive language so when we see the next thing is recursively enumerable language because of the enumerable language so for example if you are having a machine which is known as Turing machine M and you are giving an input W the language defined by this uh, particular uh, Turing machine a language is recursively enumerable if there exists a Turing machine which accepts the string present in the language accept which accept the string with present in the language and does not accept the string that are not in the language it does not accept the string that are not in the language and it may pass the Turing machine into an infinite loop so it calls a Turing machine into an infinite loop which is known as a recursively enumerable language here in this scenario when we see this uh, recursive case either the particular uh, machine accept the state or rejects the state in, in either case if the machine is halt over here and it provide the result uh, it is decided and give the result whether it is uh, yes or no so the machine is hard and give you a result so when you see this recursively enumerable language for a given input w and the particular for the particular turing machine n so if a uh, string is present in the language it accepts an a and provide s yes. and the machine calls here if it is not the particular string is not in the particular language it does not halt instead of that it goes on looping indefinite looping on the particular input so in this scenario this is known as recursively enumerable language so this is known as this is rejection and it provides your infinite loop so that is known as an recursively enumerable language thank you